Hello people of the internet, how is all doing? And I'm going to be honest with people for a second. At the moment in time, these last two weeks, I've been going through an unbelievably great time. And it's unbelievably heartwarming. And it's so, so good for my mental health the last two weeks. Because I haven't been depressed or I haven't been down. And there was one, obviously, thing that brought me down, I suppose, a tiny bit. But... The, the positive took the, the majority, I suppose you could say. But it's a good thing. And I'm going to just say to people, two simple words. We can do it. Or you can do it. Whichever way you want to look at it. Now, just bear with me. Bear with me. I explain. So, when I was in the hospital, right, the, I, I was in the Meta Hospital in Dublin for people under the under the age of 18, based, And it was called Cherry Orchard, obviously, um, in Dublin. And, you know, I was there for a while, I obviously suffered from depression, anxiety, many, many other things too. And, the thing I used to say to myself, you know, how desperate, how hopeless the situation seemed there, when I was in that room, on my own, you know, like a kind of a bedroom and a bathroom, you know, the bathroom was there, the bedroom was here. And, you know, you just, you know, I looked to myself every day in the mirror. And I was like, this is hopeless. That's what it was like for the first week. I'm never going to get out of here. I'm never going to see outside again. And but something came across me the second week. And I tell you this straight. The second week, I said to myself, do you know what? To damn and to hell and to backwards. And if, I, if this is my last stand on out, if this is my last stand, if I can't beat... My depression, if I can't beat my anxiety, then damn well I'm going to try and fight it as best I can. And I said to myself, and I promised myself, if I get out of that hospital, if I did get out of that hospital alive, that I would never, never stop campaigning for better mental health awareness and better allocated funds for mental health awareness. And that's what I'm doing. And, and the simplest thing I said after I said that, and I promised myself in the mirror, I said, I can do it. Simple words. I can do this. I can do it. That is something more than money or anything. Because you're giving faith. You're giving yourself hope that you can do it. I'm not doing it for the fame, for the joy, for the glory. I'm doing it because I knew people suffered. People, I've seen people suffering. I knew myself. I, I was suffering. And you don't want people to suffer the way you did. Because that time was heartbreaking. It was really, really devastating stuff that was happening. But I'm going to say this to people. No matter the darkest situation you're in, no matter how bad it is, as long as you say to yourself, I can do it. I can do it. If you say that, and if you really, really mean it, like as I said, there was no hope for me that first week. And then whatever came across me, that fighting spirit to fight on, and do not let it beat us. Because that's something that you have to look into your heart. You have to look into your soul to get it. You can, because that's determination. I was determined that I get out of it. I was determined that I show people who were, some people who were making a laugh at me, hoping that I was dead. I was determined to show them. Sucks to be you. Because I'm alive, and you're not going to do anything about it. Um, and that's what happened. It took, I, I know before anybody says, it took effort. It took loads of time. It took heartbreak and heart and took loads of bits out of me. Probably lowered my years from, probably took three years of my life. In my heart and in my soul. Three years of my life expectancy. But I'm here. And that's the same, but in everything I do now. I'm like, I can do it. Now repeat it with me, I can do it. We can do it. No matter the problem. We see our country being neglected by the EU. We see our country being thrown away like a bit of dirt into a bin. And the only thing I say to you, we can do it. We can do it. We can achieve what we want to achieve. If we put our mind, if we put our heart to it, we can achieve. 
If you put your mind to something, if you're focused on something, I was so focused, there was nothing else on my mind apart from one other thing that was in my mind, which was another motivator for me. And I said to myself, I can do it. And the other motivator, the other thing that motivated me when I was in Cherry Orchard was my person that was very special to me and it's still very special to me. Um, and that obviously motivated me too because it's all about hope. Because no matter what we do, we have to have hope in what we can do. Because we all say to each other every day, we might not say it out. I hope in schools and colleges, you're like, I hope this teacher's not and I hope I, they don't look for my homework because I didn't do it. I hope for this. That's something people might say, you know, you shouldn't hope, you wish your life away. That's something, that's something that many people don't have. They don't have hope. Now I'm saying to people, a few simple words, we can do it or I can do it, will bring you a long way. Because I can feel myself there saying it. You know, you have to fight. Like in the last few weeks, as I said, before that I was depressed every so often, I was upset. I can become very upset very quickly. And, you know, now I have that kind of spirit back from back then that I would get through it. And I'm going to say this straight to people. I haven't felt better in God knows how long. And that's all because, you know, my, it was my finest hour. This, this, these last two weeks were my finest hour. It just goes to show you, and this is the biggest thing I don't mean to show off. Believe me, I'm not a show off. But it just goes to show me. Looking back, 2016, I give myself no hope. I was thought I was going to die. I thought I wouldn't be here. I shouldn't, if I was white, I shouldn't be here. And sadly, many people I knew didn't survive that fight. But. And that's another thing that pushes me on. Because Suicide is the loneliest, loneliest way to die. And it's not right for anybody to die of suicide. And I'm saying to people, if you are going through a tough time, I said it so, so many times throughout my videos. Talk. Talk. The best thing you can do that's humanly possible. And the best thing for your mind and the best thing for your soul is to talk to somebody. Tell them how you're feeling. Talk. That's how problems get sorted. Because, as I said many times, the dark times will come. The dark times came and haunted me. And I'm going to use the word haunted. Terrorized me. Better word to describe it. But them words did help. I'm not going to lie to you. And I had the ability to say... I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm going to rise from this. No matter if it takes me 10 years. No matter if it takes me 6 years. No matter if it takes me half of my life. I'm going to rise from this. More stronger and more prepared for life than ever. And it's simple as that. This, these few words I'm going to say a hundred times in this video. We can do it or I can do it. It's more than anything in the world. Because you're putting faith into yourself. You're like, I can do it. That's my goal. I'm going to put my full focus into it. And I'm not going to let depression or somebody beat me. Or if they're bullying you, I'm not going to let them beat me. Basically push them away. Because, and I'm going to say this straight to people. This is my finest hour. And I never taught three years ago that I ever ever utter damn words again but I'm here and I'm saying to everybody and I'm speaking on camera openly about my problems back then and about now and I said before this video I can do this I can talk I can speak I can express myself because I can do it and this video effort is to prove it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And never be afraid to talk. Because we all need a leg up. We all need help now and again.
Because together we are strong, we are one. And we are here to help each other. Because life is all about helping each other and making friends and making new contacts, I suppose you could say. And life is such a precious thing. And we should do whatever we can to help everybody through life and to have a good life. Because we only get one life. Thank you.